What is good everybody, today we are reviewing the Jazzwares Vault exclusive Ring of Honor Unrivaled Danhausen figure. I really don't know what to still call these things because they are technically AEW Unrivaled figures, but there's no AEW branding on any of this stuff. It's always ROH, there's Ring of Honor stuff all over it. You got Danhausen on the front, of course. We did review Brian Danielson a couple weeks ago, and it was a solid figure. Looking forward to this one as well. As I am a big Danhausen guy, I do enjoy Danhausen's work, and this should be another addition to the Danhausen collection that I'm looking forward to, but all of this Ring of Honor packaging does look good. You have this nice artwork here. I still am unable to find out who is doing this artwork here. But you do have the Jazzwares Vault exclusive logo sticker down here, one of 5,000. Danhausen at the bottom here, Ring of Honor at the top, and then the same logo, same image, same Danhausen name. You got number four here on the side. It says Series 1, number four. You got another image of Danhausen there, Danhausen there, and then Danhausen there. And this is just the slip cover, so you can remove this here, and you will reveal the figure underneath, which would be... Danhausen himself here and you will see it does have the Jazzwares Vault exclusive logo on the sticker similar to other chases and things like this from Jazzwares and AEW it says one of 5,000 you got Danhausen there he, he comes with a brand new cape we got a jar of teeth in here we have a lot of cool stuff going on with this Danhausen very excited for it man but that is your front viewing window on the front it does have the Ring of Honor logo Danhausen then the same logos that we've come to know and the same images same image of Danhausen Danhausen's name the series number same image Ring of Honor Danhausen all of that different stuff. I do like the packaging. While it doesn't have the craziest things going on with it, it's still fun. I think it's a solid little addition for our Danhausen packaging, but with that being said, man, let's crack our Ring of Honor Danhausen out of the packaging, find out what he's all about, put him on the rotating base, and see if he compares well to the rest of our Danhausen figure collections. So here's our Ring of Honor Danhausen out of the packaging. My rotating base has died, Brad. My rotating base is dead, so I cannot show it spinning around, and I tried to even just see if it would spin long enough to get one full rotation and then edit it. Still not happening, but what we're going to do, man, is we're going to, of course, take a look at the accessories you get with Danhausen, and then we'll take a closer look at the Danhausen itself. But I am pretty bummed out that I could not get the rotate. Just one rotation. That's all I needed, but apparently not going down, man. And I think i got to get a new battery for it. Also, the charging function is busted, so even if I plug it in, it won't work. It's just, uh, it's been around for a long time, man, so I do need to get a new rotating base, but, uh, yeah, it is what it is. I still, you know, I'm excited to dive into the figure with you, so with that being said, man, let's shut the hell up and dive into the Danhausen figure. So getting into the Ring of Honor Danhausen accessories, you start things off with the cloth goods. You do get a decent amount for this exclusive figure to the Jazzwares Vault. And this has got to be my favorite accessory. It's got to be the nice cloth cape. Now my boy Nick Storm and his girlfriend, I do believe, made me my own custom one of these way back in the day. I want to say it was like two or three years ago they made that for me. And this is the one that they made. And it's actually, it might it might be on par with this one. It, it had a bendy wire and all these different things. It was very high quality. And this one is also very high quality. Now one thing that does get on my nerves, is a little tag on the inside, you know, a little mattress tag or a little, you know, pillow tag or whatever. I'm definitely going to cut that off. It's definitely obnoxious, gets on my nerves. I understand why it's there. I'm just going to remove it. But the nice velvety inside right here looks very high quality. It does have Velcro on the neck to go around the figure there, which is also a good sign. But all this has a bendy wire in it, so you can pose it different ways, which is always huge, you know, for, you know, you can have the cape all strung out like this. He can, you know, close it up, whatever you want to do. Nosferatu style, Batman style, whatever. But this looks very cool. The graphics look good. All of this is clean and very nice flat material. It, very nice. Very high quality. They did a good job on this. And having that bendy wire in there is essential. I wish that we could get that from every company out there. You know, I think that really adds to it. But yeah, very high quality cape accessory. I think this really makes it worth the price point alone. I think it's like, what, a $30 figure or something? I think this overall just makes it worth it. And then the other accessory that you get is the jar of teeth here, which look very good. I will say, I see a bunch of uh, space in there. I would have liked to see seen them not have so much space and I don't know if this is accurate to the actual you know jar of teeth that he you know carried around or whatever but the sculpts look good it's just a nice little accessory to have the top looks nice it doesn't come off or anything it's not a workable jar but it's still nice very clean looking aesthetic and everything got the red lines in there very cool very cool looking accessory and I'm glad to have this you know this is another really cool accessory to have if you're a Danhausen fan or want to add to your displays very good hard accessory right there why did I say hard I mean I guess it is hard it's just weird why why and then you do get three interchangeable head sculpts now the exposure may be messed up just a little bit here because he does have the bright white face paint but you do get the pretty much the identical head sculpts that we saw on his unrivaled figure or his ringside exclusive you have sort of the cursed head sculpt you have sort of a menacing head sculpt and then you have just sort of a resting sort of grimacing head sculpt here but i like all three of them i like all three of their face paint all of it looks good and clean and i like all three of them i don't have any issues with any of them i don't think i you know i, I would have liked to seen a brand new head sculpt or some 
sort, but I like all three of them. It's not like they're bad head sculpts, so reusing them here doesn't bother me, but the next Danhausen that we get, I hope that it is changed up a little bit if we do get one. I know we have the two-pack, we have the chase, we have the regular Unrivaled 13, we have the ringside exclusive, we have the Ring of Honor, so we do have quite a few Danhausens, but this one uh, does check off all the boxes. At least you get one of each head sculpt, and all of them look pretty good. Not my favorite head sculpts of all time, but I think they do get the job done. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get the kind of off or clawing style hands here, sort of the cursey style hand. Not the pointing hands, but sort of that oft cursed hand. And these look pretty good. I like these. You know, you can cross them in front of him here and rest him on his chest or at his waist or whatever. There's a lot of different things you can use for these, but I like the pose here. Very dynamic. And then for his other interchangeable hands, you get the cursed hands or the pointing hands, which look very really good. And I like his wedding band in there. Very cool. Very good stuff here and very well posed. And we have seen these before, but it is nice to see them again. I think this is really all you need with your Danhausen. So getting into Danhausen, starting at the head sculpt, it is the same head sculpt we've seen before on different Danhausen figures or just some interchangeable ones. I think we saw it with the ringside exclusive, if I'm not mistaken, but all of it looks good. I don't have any gripes about that. Going down, we do have the chest tattoo right here, which looks pretty good. I think that his tattoos fit him well and nice. Not my style per se, but I do like, you know, the way that his tattoos look. They're pretty clean and they look pretty good here. I don't mind the torso they give him. I think that it works pretty well. You might could use a smaller torso, but I think that it does work well for a Danhausen. And he is missing some tattoos here because it is from his time in Ring of Honor, so if you compare this to his ringside exclusive, which we will in just a moment, you will see that he is missing some tattoos compared to the ringside exclusive because this is before he had those tattoos, so that makes the most sense, doesn't it? So that's, you know, part of the accuracy there, but he does have all his different tattoos going around. Of course, not every single one of them like we touched on, but he does have most of them for the most part, I'd say, but they all look good. He got the black wrist tape in there, and then getting down into the tights, not the most exciting tights of all time, but they do have the little emoji or Danhausen logo there. You have the red belt. You do have these like nice triangle patterns going around the thighs, and then it's just regular black tights from there, which I want to say we've seen a version of these. I don't know if it's the exact same, but I know we have seen different versions of these from Jazzwares and AEW already. But then he does have his kind of Darby Allen style boots. They're not the exact same, but they are very similar in that they have, you know, the short little black boots there. Then he does have the, you know, it looks like there's shin cut, but there's no shin cut. I don't know why that cuts there. It should articulate. But in terms of posability, he can pose around really well. He always feels good in hand. All of Danhausen's figures do. He can't look down and, and up that much because the hair, the neck gets in the way, so that's kind of annoying, but he's got all the different stuff you want, man. Bicep cut, double jointed arm. Like, he feels very tight in hand compared to other AEW figures. He can split. Kick forward is pretty solid. It does get a bit tight in there, but you can make it happen. Just to beware, it will rub right there a little bit, but double jointed knee is there. Thigh cut is there. No shin cut, even though it does look like there is a shin cut. He does have boot cut. Ankles move down and up, and he does have nice, beautiful ankle pivot, of course. And then, you know, the rest of it feels just very solid, man. He feels very solid in hand, which is always a nice bonus. But let's get into some Danhausen figure comparisons so you can see kind of the differences between our AEW and Ring of Honor Jazz Wears AEW Danhausen. What the hell am I saying? Collection. So for your Danhausen figure comparisons, here is our different ones. We have the Unrivaled 13, we have the Ring of Honor Jazz Wears Vault exclusive, and we have the Ringside exclusive on the right. And you will see the difference in the tattoos. This one does have a few more on the arms and such so it's not the biggest differences but they are there and yeah he just has a little bit more tattoos and then the gear is different i do prefer the ringside exclusives gear over to this one but again it's not the same it's not the same era man so what do you want and i'm also noticing it looks like this head sculpt over here is a little bit smaller than the others but it could just be because he is wearing like his entrance gear or whatever and you will notice that his torso or his crotch piece does have a little bit different logos on it compared to this one over here and again he is wearing this entrance garb so it is different tights, but they're very similar. And I don't have the Chase, the Unrival 13 Chase, and I don't have the, the Amazon Hookhausen 2-pack Danhausen because I only have that men on card. I do have the Hook Loose because I bought it for a good price online one time, but I do not have the Danhausen just yet. That is one that I want to track down. I definitely want to get all the Danhausens. But right now, I do not have all of them in the collection to compare. But they are very similar to this one. I think that it has these tattoos on the two-pack, but the tights are similar to this. But they're more of like an anthracite, glowing, grayish, metallic, silver-style color. And then I think the chase is also something like that. So it's kind of difficult. And I think the... The Hookhausen 2-pack has a has a rubber cape, and then, you know, the ringset exclusive does come with this cape. So if you wanted to put this cape onto this figure, you could do that too. So, yeah, there's something you could do. You could put this cape over here and make that work if you wanted to. I don't have, like, I think this is supposed to go under the arms there and strap in, but I don't really want to take the time to do so. So here's what the Ring of Honor looks like with this cape on it, if you wanted to see it. This is the ringset exclusive cape on the Ring of Honor Danhausen figure, and then, you know, if you want to put this 
onto the uh, onto the ringside exclusive. You could do that as well. So yeah, just having a bunch of fun in here, switching them around. I mean, this is what collecting is all about, right here, man. Don't just keep your figure standard, man. Switch some things up. It can really add to your displays and add to everything. So there's that cape on the ringside exclusive. So there you go. I put the I put the Ring of Honor cape on the ringside exclusive and the ringside exclusive cape on the Ring of Honor there. If you guys wanted to do so, but I think that pretty much wraps up your Danhausen action figure comparison. But I think that about wraps up our Danhausen Ring of Honor unrivaled Jazzwares Vault exclusive review, man. I really enjoy the figure, you know. I think that it honestly just the accessories alone are worth the pickup, even if you know you don't really care for the attire or whatever, man. I think that the jar of teeth really adds to your display. I think the cape is really awesome with the bendy wire and stuff. You can pose them around a bunch of different ways because of the bendy wire, which is always nice. And you could mix and match with your other Danhausens. I know the attire is not the most over the top or whatever. It is just a it's kind of a run of the mill attire. It's not anything special going on with it, but it is still a moment in time and a cool representation of Danhausen. If you're a big fan of Danhausen or whatever, man, maybe this. This is the figure that you want to grab, but he's a fun and ton to shoot around. Again, he's very sturdy. His AEW figures were off the charts, so this one really fits right in there with it. It can pose around well, has good likeness, poses around nice, feels good in hand, so all those things are very nice with this figure as well. Again, really do wish he did have shin cut, but not the biggest deal ever. I think I've grown used to it by now with the Danhausen, and the rest of the figure does feel really good in hand, so that's kind of a thing. You know, if it, if it felt like crap in hand and it didn't have shin cut, that would be another thing, but... I have had fun posing this guy around in the arena, taking some shots of him, and just getting to know the figure itself, but I really enjoy the accessories. I enjoy Danhausen, so I, I think this is worth the pickup for me. I like it enough to grab it, so maybe that will be where you land with it, but it is available at Jezware's Vault if you guys want to go grab it. It is available to you. And if you want to grow, grab that, definitely go do so. Link in the description below. Huge shout out to the Jazzwares Vault for making this review possible. But that is pretty much going to wrap up my review of the Danhausen figure, man. If you guys want it, go grab it. It is available again over at Jazzwares Vault, so definitely go do so, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on this figure down in the comment section below. Give me a follow on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I greatly appreciate it, but I'm getting the hell out, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all those fellows over there. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support on the channel. You guys are absolutely incredible, and I am always gracious to you for your continued support, man. But I'm getting out. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Peace out. See you next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>